Hey, it's Fox 97's Morning Guys, Randy and Spiff, with year number four of the Fox 97 Shower Stall Singers. Whoa, what a great year, boy. We had the baseball strike. That wasn't so great, but we had the Super Bowl. We had White Water, mm -hmm. and hey, the rebuilding of the Big Chicken. Now, there's a lot of these songs that you're going to hear that have been co-written by you, our Fox 97 listeners. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. a special thanks go out to you, plus Mark Bradford, the Shower Stall Singers, our producer, Mitch Elliott, mm -hmm. and our master magician here of technical wizardry, Tom Warner. Hi, guys. Oh, he's a talkative little bugger, ain't he? he? Is, oh, he yeah. Is. Now, let's get on with the thing. The Fox 97 Shower Stall Singers, Volume 4. Big chick. Big chick. Ooh. There's an old, old story that I've been told of a big old bird that never crossed the road. They had to tear the old one down Now lots of folks can't find their way around Without Big Chick Big Chick Big Chick Big, Big Chick Big Chick Ooh. What went wrong? Here's the scoop The old one was wrecked by pigeon poop Many a man said it couldn't be done, but they rebuilt that baby on 41 Big Chick. With jacks and hammers, they tore the thing down. Then came a rumble from all over town. Thousands gathered like a giant wave. Now there's only one bird that they want to save, Big Chick. Big Chick. Big Chick. Big, Big Chick. Some say it is an Elvis dream Just up the road from a Krispy Kreme North to south, east to west There's no greater landmark It's the best Big Chick The new one stands atop a KFC This thing's bigger than Robert E. Lee And now across the land a familiar sound is heard Just stay on 41 and hang a left at the bird Big Chick Big chick, big chick, big, big chick, big chick. Ooh. Now everyone knows and speaks with reverent word. At the corner of Cobb Parkway stands a big, big bird, big chick. Big chick, big chick. Big, big chick, big chick, big chick, big, big chick, big chick. January of 94 was an amazing month. We had the Big Chicken reopened, and Atlanta hosted the Super Bowl. Whoa, and the town was loaded with celebrities. They were all over the place. And, of course, Fluffo, the Fox 97 clown, he was right in the middle of everything. Matter of fact, he was hanging around with one of the Buffalo Bills. You're talking about hanging out with celebrities. You're not going to believe this. What happened? I've been hanging out with Thurman Thomas. You've been wow. hanging out with Thurman Thomas? In fact, last night... We kind of, you know, went out together, stayed up, uh -huh. talked and everything. I kind of tried to comfort him everything. Oh, you know? yeah, he had a bad game. Yeah, totally. Had a rough game. In fact, we're, we spent the night here in the hotel room. He's sitting right here, guys. Really? Well, can we talk to him? All right, I'd love for you to. Maybe you can cheer him up. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. That'd be great. Cool. It can happen to anybody. Wait, hold on. Okay. Here's, okay. Here's the phone, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, man. He, he dropped the phone. Oh, oh no. no. Riding along in my automobile. Going to varsity for a meal. It was so packed I couldn't get in. And it's the same everywhere I've been. With all of the tourists in town, you know. To see in Atlanta Super Bowl. Peachtree Street is a parking lot. And I can't find a parking spot. I can't get into the Hard Rock Cafe. With all the celebs in town for a stay I thought I saw Madonna and Sean And Jerry Glanville cleaning the John You can't get tickets to see the game But 
that's okay, they're always lame. All of the media swarm in the town, shoveling hype by the pound. Randy and Spiff with the pregame show, but they won't get into the Super Bowl. Can't get into the Georgia Dome. So I guess I'll just stay home. I'll be on the edge of my seat all night to see who wins Butter Bud Light. Stuck on my couch with the remote control to watch the Atlanta Super Bowl. Now, even though this Fox 97 shower stall singers is volume number four, we celebrated our fifth anniversary at Fox 97 in February of 1994. And of course, we only have you to thank. You didn't have to listen, but you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And we thank you. You didn't have to call us on the phone in your row, but you did. And we thank you. You tuned in our show for these five years. We hope you didn't have to plug your kids' ears. You call us. Spring of 94 was not just centered around the Braves. Well, this year the Hawks had made the playoffs and everyone was into it. Ah, heck yes. I was making money left and right uh, if I was a betting man, of course. And uh, Fox 97's uh, President Arthur Stuhl didn't like that one bit. I've told you before, time and again, I don't want this kind of thing around the station. <laughs> now get it through your head once and for all. No gambling. Sir, uh. sir did you, you bet against the Hawks again, didn't you? How long can that streak last? <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat those Hawks!
Uno, dos, one, two, tres, cuatro. Now, what would the Randy and Spiff Morning Show be without a little fun with politics? And with Bill and Hillary in the White House, it sure is easy to have some fun. And now, with our apologies to the Doobie Brothers, here's Whitewater. Well, we're working on health care and balance in trade. Passing a crime bill and new foreign aid. Now we're all shredding a grand tour is threatening. White water's a problem that won't go away. Oh, white water keeps on coming. Arkansas moon, won't you keep on shining on me? Oh, white water keeps on coming. There's a whole stack of paper they want to see. Oh, white water keeps on coming. Outside the door is a summons written for me. Yeah, we're all up late at night. Gonna make everything with a lawyer. Gonna make everything all right. Cause I just lost my memory And I ain't talk to Hillary at all Like a sell some Arkansas Delta land And all it's gonna cost is around 20 grand 20 grand, grand. spend 20 grand Tell, Tell your lawyer I'm gonna invest in white water for us your tracks, then I'm your man. Just put twenty thousand here in my hand. In Down my hand, hand. Put it in my hand. hand. Tell, Tell your lawyer, lawyer. You get to the twenty. It, it ain't that long. I'd like to sell some Arkansas Delta land, and all it's gonna cost is around twenty grand. Twenty grand, grand. spend twenty grand. Tell, Tell your lawyer, lawyer. talk best white water for us. If you wanna hide your tracks, then I'm your man. Just put twenty thousand here in my hand. Come and listen to my story about a man named Bill Poor old governor barely kept his pockets filled Then one day he was drumming up some funds When up from the crowd came Bill, why don't you run? National office, that is Big cheese, top man well, the next thing you know, old Bill's the president. Kin folks said, Bill, change your resident. Said, up north is the place you ought to slum. So he hooked up the double wide and moved to Washington. D.C., that is. Crooked politics, slush funds. The Washington Hillbillies. Well, now it's time to say goodbye to all our hard-earned dough. 
Bill and Hillary will just sit back and watch it go. You're all invited back next year to this locality to have a heaping helping of his tax mentality. Hikes, that is. Tax and spend. Squat to show. Y'all pay up now, here. Now, this next song was not done by our regular shower stall singers. We needed to do a song about the gypsy parking lot controversy down there at Fulton County Stadium. And we needed somebody who sounded like Cher. So we searched far and near, and near we, and far. We found her far. And why? All the way down near there in Fayetteville. Far. There and she was. Debbie Davis of Fayetteville helped us out with this voice. And here is Gypsy Parking Lots. Oh, the station wagon, it's a nine and three old When the Braves play ball, our family likes to go But now we have to leave our car at home There's nowhere to park now Just like the dome They shut the parking down Wrapped up some ribs and a portable grill Cause tailgating parties really gives us a thrill But now they took away all our fun You're not allowed to eat or drink On the model run Shut the parking down Never had problems till they went and gave us Those Olympic games Maybe next time I can get a ride In a limousine for Ted and Jane Ted and Jane Yeah, yeah We drive a station wagon It's a 93 old Braves play ball, our family likes to go But now we have to leave our car at home There's nowhere to park now Just like the drone Shut the parking down. Gypsy parking lots. There used to be so many downtown. We need those gypsy parking lots. No, we do drive around. Cause they shut the parking down. One of the big movie events of the year was the Flintstones. Well, it was John Goodman was in there. That's right. Rick Moranis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, you know, what, matter of fact, you know what the Fred Flintstone's pet peeve was? What's that? Well, he couldn't find BCD underwear anywhere. Ooh. BCD underwear, you a see. A small it's attempt at humor there. Here's another one. Yes, I, I want to tell you that the, I saw the Flintstones movie. In the, the bread, he was driving the car with his feet and sleeping on the stone mattress and using a bird's beak for a record player. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, absolutely right. It's sort of like my country after the bombing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Very Nostalgic yeah. Oldies in the morning There's no better way to start your day The gang on Fox 97 Gets you into work without delay Randy and Smith will entertain Terry will tell you about the rain Oldies in the morning They sound best on 97 You'll be in heaven it's how to start your day. Welcome to side two of the Fox 97 Shower Stall Singers, volume number four. Now, each year we set aside one side of our cassette exclusively for Brave songs. But it got a little abbreviated this year. Yeah, just like the baseball season. Still right. <laughs> well, as the season got underway, though, we were very excited. to you from the stadium a griffin 
Justice, Terry and Dion. We got smoke and Avery and glam and throwing across Atlanta. I'm pride showing. I'm a Braves fan. I'm a Braves fan. I'm a Braves fan. I'm a Braves. I know the 94 baseball season had a strike and everything, but one of the great things for us about it was we got to know Leo Mazzoni. Matter of fact, we wrote a song about Leo Mazzoni. You helped, and we also got some help from Ed the Mechanic. Trolls to the mound when things aren't right. He checks to see if the pitcher's uptight. He says, hey, kid, your pitching is cold. If you don't throw strikes, you'll be polishing Dion's gold. <laughs> <laughs> and before long, we had Leo on the radio with us each week, giving us the inside scoop on the Braves and the pitching staff. You know, a real good example was uh, in San Francisco when I had to go out and talk to uh, Avery. And, and to give you a little idea how it works, I go. Bobby says to me, he says, go out and see if Avery's all right. So I go out to the mound, and I said, Steve, are you all right? He says, I'm bleeping all right. I said, all right. I go, I go back into the dugout, and Bobby says, is he all right? I said, yeah, he's bleeping all right. Bobby said, well, all right, let's go. Rocks in the dugout all game long, telling his pitchers what they're doing wrong. Every now and then he trots to the mound, just like a sort of he could shed a few pounds. Rock and Leo, pitch, pitch a strike. Rock and Leo, pitch. Hey, Rock and Leo, the Braves are gonna win tonight. It's, it's, it's just right. With Smoltz and Maddox clavin too, watch Leo rock all the season through. He doesn't coach Justice or Fred McGriff, but we need this line for Randy and Spiff. Rock and Leo, it's, it's just right. Rock and Leo, it's, it's just right. Hey, Rock and Leo, the Braves are gonna win tonight. It's, it's, it's just right. Well, he rocks dug up seven days a week there's a place on the bench that really creaks he rocks at night he rocks at noon maybe old leo needs the man's room he rocks and chews all game long hoping that his starters will stay real strong all the relievers in the bullpen say come on rock and leo don't spit this way rock and leo pitch pitch a strike rock and leo pitch Strike. Hey, Rock and Leo, the Braves are gonna win tonight. It's, it's, it's a strike. Hey, Rock and Leo, the Braves are gonna win tonight. It's, it's, it's a strike. Well, hey, Rock and Leo, the Braves are gonna win tonight. One of the big developments of the Braves season was the trade of Deion Sanders. Everyone was kind of shocked. Hey, especially Deion. And, but our hearts went out to him because yeah. we have feelings, too, and, and we know he does. So uh, the Charleston Singers jumped on right on it and did a very, well, very sentimental song. Goodbye, Deion, Atlanta Brave. Thanks for all the highlights that you gave. Margie's shot changed your career. 
jewelry and your gear. Better leave your earrings here. Dion will miss you on our team. Sheerholtz must be drinking old Jim Beam. And now it's off to Riverfront. Hope the Reds stay in the hunt. If they don't return some funds, he can bet, he can run, though he's Gold chains wait a ton as he trots into third. We'll call Sheerholtz a big nerd. Goodbye, Dion, it's time to go. You played part time, but ask for full time dough. Now you're gone, it's signed and sealed. With all the power that March wields, you'll walk her dog cross center field. He'll excite, give a thrill, all the stadium he'll fill. Talk some crap, sing some rap, put the Bengals on the map. He had joy, he had fun, stealing bases by the ton. But now we all agree that John Sheerholtz is a dweeb. He can bet. Well, then came that dreaded day in August when the baseball season came to an end due to the strike. And Spiff, being a big fan, I thought he'd be walking around here with a long face all downtrodden. But no. No, not at all, Randy, because I knew who caused the strike. I knew who was to blame. And, well, I told everyone about it. And now live from Fox 97, a man who just took a job that requires him to accompany Salman Rushdie to his next author tour. Uh-oh. See you later. <laughs> Spiff Carter. And the baseball strike drags on and on and on. <laughs> Randy, but the tireless and never vigilant research staff here at Fox 97.1 uh, FM. Yeah. They've discovered who's to blame for yeah. this disgusting baseball strike. Who is it? Well, is it the owners? Is it the players? Neither. Really? No. No, uh, Randy, neither of them. Who is it? It's the fans. What? Uh, <laughs> let's face it, Randy, we're, we're cheap. Uh, we are what? just so darn... It's our what? fault if you look at it, folks. What? I mean, we could be seeing baseball right now if you just uh, shuck out another $5 a seat. Oh, it's on. not that tough. You're making twelve five a year. What's another $5 is what I'm saying here. <laughs> you know, you shoot $10 for a brewski, yeah. give the guy a couple dollar tip. Hey, we're playing ball right here, oh, right now. No. Come on, you go on down, spend $40 on parking, we'd be... Watching the brains in action right now, Randy. We'd be in business better yet, man. Baseball should be pay for view. Oh, sure. You walk into the old sports bar, plop $12 on top of the TV set, play ball. It would be great, Randy, because these players deserve you watching millionaires getting dirty now. I mean, come on. You can skip a meal to see that. Start crying out loud. And if souvenirs were more fairly priced, say a 20% increase, then maybe, just maybe, we'd be watching. Watching the boys of summer right now, you know? <laughs> and what about that policy of letting straight-A students in the game free? Sure! <laughs> I mean, come on! That practice alone is probably taking a beamer out of every player's <laughs> driveway right now. No wonder they're ticked off. People, we are do- oh, we are so stingy. <laughs> enough is enough. It's time we fans either put up or shut up. <laughs> you know, the players, the owners, they're right. This is America. By God, make as much money as you can. <laughs> Spiff Carter, just a cheap fan. Listen to us players, you gotta understand. When you go on strike and start making your demands. Listen to us owners, why do you need a cap? Your talk of losing money sounds like a lot of crap. Every fan wants a team they can cheer when they go to the game. Because of your greed, there's no baseball. Well, it's such a shame. Now these jerks are in a feud and the fans get screwed. Stop! They can't stop. Stop! They can't stop. Stop! Baseball striking again. Baseball striking again. When it comes to 
cash, you've got a one-track mind. Rising ticket prices, you're robbing us blind. Rolexes and Beamers, Olympic swimming pools. When you say you can't make it, you must think we are fools. When I settle down, I want baseball on my TV set. Forgive and forget, maybe you could save the playoffs yet. Happens every other year while we cry in our beers. Stop! They can't stop, stop! They can't stop, stop! Baseball is striking again! Baseball is striking again! Baseball is striking again! Well, as the baseball season came to an end, we all started looking forward to football season and the Falcons with a whole new look. Boy, they had a brand new quarterback. A brand new coach. Jeez, a brand new team. George, George, George of the Falcons, strong as he can be. Watch out for number three. George, George, George of the Falcons, Atlanta's new QB. Watch out for number three. When he goes on the run, he gets it done with the help of his friend, Andre Ryzen. Then away he'll go down the field, he'll throw a brand and spit and run real slow. George of the Falcons, strong as he can be. Watch out for number three. Watch out for number three. George, George, George of the Falcons, Atlanta. There's a story told about a football game and a wee young man with a funny name. And the other kids teased him at recess in the afternoon. He'd fight and he'd scrap and they'd think it was funny as they'd turn him around and steal his lunch money. Life was kind of tough for a boy named June. Well, he became a coach in the USFL. Before too long, he did real well. And all the defenses heard about him real soon. He invented an offense, the run and shoot. He scored so many points, it was really a hoot. And everybody took notice of a coach named June. Yeah, he went and showed all the naysayers, and his fame spread for coaching football players. And now all those people sing a different tune. He rose to the top, he's wearing black. He's the new king of the Falcons' attack. And now nobody's laughing at a coach named June. Now we had a coach here for a while that had a real eccentric style. He left tickets for Elvis and acted like a loon. So I'm telling my friends, my cousins and uncles, we got rid of that guy with the big old belt buckle and I just can't wait for this new coach named June. Now he's on the hot seat and he knows the score Cause this coaching job has been a revolving door And a playoff game seems about as far as the moon And down the road if he don't work out If the team don't win and the fans don't shout And if we have to hire another coach He'll have a name like Randy or Spiff, anything but Juice
The Fox 97 Shower Stall Singers, volume number four. Special thanks to everybody who helped us out write the songs, perform the songs, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to everybody, of course, here in this room, including Tom, our engineer. See ya. Boy, what a blabbermouth. That time you can't, can't stop shut him. him up. The guy talked, 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 talked. This time. tape would run an hour and a half yeah, if it was up to him. Can't believe it. Oh.